Namaste. Namaste. Welcome to day three of our time together. Let's begin this session with a a moment to get comfortable with a straight spine and closing our eyes for a moment and coming home, being aware of our breath. beginning to slow down from our busy activities of the day. And join us with uh, the mantra arm three times. like to share a mantra with you that is a beautiful mantra to chant when you start afresh, when you make new beginnings. And that can be anything from starting a new venture, starting a new relationship, starting a new day, starting a new project. It's a mantra that removes the obstacles that might be in the way. Good for LA traffic. (laughs) <laughs> it's good for your journeys. And uh, it also blesses the new beginning. So what is beautiful about this mantra is it's about unity. It's a mantra of union, unity, which makes us aware of the fact that when all is one, there's nothing in the way. There's only something in the way when we make the distinction of you know, good and bad. A separation, huh? and separation. That energy of unity, of oneness, is at the bottom of our spine. That's where it sleeps, so that's where it lies. And so when we chant this mantra, it's really beautiful and important that we sit with our back straight so that this energy can rise up our spine and move freely. The Lord of oneness, the Lord of unity, the remover of obstacles, is called Ganesh. This is the energy that we are tuning into, the energy of Ganesh. And the seed sound of that energy, which means the sound that contains this energy in the most potent and concentrated way, is the sound gum. So we can just even forget the whole mantra. If we just remember that sound gum, we will have the energy of the focus of this mantra with us. The words to this mantra are Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. So Om we are very much familiar with and Gam also, that's the seed sound, Om Gam. And then Ganapataye, so that's Ganapataye. Ganapati is another name for Ganesh. Ye is the power, the Shakti that manifests that energy. So it's Ganapataye, and then Namaha, which is used very much at the end of many mantras. Namaha means I offer, or salutations. So the words Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. What we're involved in here is harnessing the energy of our mind. As we know, mind is very powerful and out of control most of the time. And the mantra, especially this mantra, can help pull that energy and crystallize it into an energy that transforms and liberates and uplifts. This is what this mantra is. It's a 
a mantra that removes obstacles, that uplifts us as a result. Om Gam Ganapati Yenamaha. Today we will use the recording from the CD called Mantras for Precarious Times, where we chant each mantra 108 times. Let's sit with our back straight and close our eyes. And either there's something going on in your life which you want to focus on where you feel more unity is needed or the removal of obstacles is needed, the removal of energy blocks. Or maybe you have somebody in your mind amongst your friends who needs that kind of energy. It's always beautiful also to offer the mantra to somebody else or send it out to someone else. Om Gam Gana Patayi Namaha 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 Om G
gam ganapatai namaha om 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 gam ganapatai namaha Thank you for joining us today. Have a beautiful rest of your day or night and all blessings to you. Namaste. Namaste.